Do you know what time it is? Mukbang! What time is it? Mukbang! It's mukbang time. Yeah. Yeah. Go get your drink, hon. So, this is what we're banging on. I'll tell you something. The pumpkin spice came and went. It did in Nevada anyway, so. But I have left over a pumpkin spice bagel or bagel. How do you say it? Bagel, bagel. I say bagel, but some people I say bagel. Bang. Yes, we're muck banging. I and bang. I like go shopping. She likes to go shopping. Tomorrow we're going to go shopping. Anyway, so this is what we have. I have a, a sausage patty, a pre-cooked sausage patty from Walmart, some Swiss cheese, and some butter I want buy on my bagel. bagel. She wants to buy a baby doll. When she says baby doll, she means a Barbie doll. I say Barbie doll. Oh, okay. Anyway, so, yes, I already took a bite of it. It's pretty good. I like homemade um, McDonald's. McDonald's. I had to take these off. I want to go shopping now. You know, we're not going to go shopping now. I want to show you this. Oh, my God. So... Vlogtober got totally screwed up. I'll tell you why. Okay, so you guys that's been with me for a while. You know who Grandma Dot Dot is. Grandma Dot Dot is sick. Sick. Grandma Dot Dot sick. She's um she came out here the seventeenth. Doctor. From Ohio. And okay, doctor. hold on. Let me tell. Okay. And she rode the train out here from Ohio because she's scared of airplanes, which, you know, a lot of people are scared of airplanes. Plus, she's so big, we'd have to buy two tickets for her. So, it's more better just to have I the... I want um, chicken mouse. All right, honey. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese for your birthday, yeah. So, anyway, she came out here and... Everything was cool. And then by the 20, the 20th or 21st, she said she was sick. She said she had a sore throat. She had a runny nose. Her ears hurt. And we've been sick all month long, haven't we? Yeah! I got a clean shot! And we have the three little ones. It seemed like every... Stop, honey. Stop. Stop. Every Thursday, every week, for about three weeks. Stop, Francine, please. <laughs> We've been going, to, taking these kids to the doctor. Yeah. First it was earache. And then it was RSVP or some shit like that. I don't know what they call it, but it was bronchitis stuff. And then we had another earache from another kid. One would get on the mend, then the next week another one would get sick. They're just spreading the love. Well, the two little bubbas, little boys, the one named Jesse, yeah. he's, he steals little bu little bubba's drinks and he runs off. So they're sharing the love, passing this back and forth, this dirty too. sippy cups. We're We're and he's too. fast, too. He'll, he'll go yoink and run, and it'll be in his mouth. So anyway, that's how those two got sick. They're sharing the stuff. But anyway, back to the grandma dot dot. Just wanted to let you know that the kids were sick. And they got tested for the coronavirus each time. Grandma just because dot, 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 that's what they do here dot. in our county. If you if you have any kind of flu, cold light symptoms, they test you for the corona. Always negative, okay? Always negative. Damn, I keep losing my napkin. So, Grandma Dot Dot, she saw I got glass in my throat. It feels like I'm sick and blah, 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 blah. So we're, okay, you need to go to the doctor. Well, she's from out of state, and she has Medicaid. If you're out of state, you can't go hopping from one state to the next to a doctor and have the Medicaid pay for it. So... 
and she didn't have enough money to go to the clinic and we didn't have enough money to, to, to pay for her clinic thing. So she went to the hospital, the ER, because they do you the bill. And then when she gets back to Ohio, whatever happens with the bill, I don't know. She could maybe turn it into Medicaid and say, you know, hey, I was out here and fix it, you know. That's what I think. Or just pay it. I don't know. Anyway, so she went to the ER. She uh, she went to like 7 o'clock at night. Took a cab down there. And stayed till 6 o'clock in the morning. It turns out her blood pressure was really sky high. It's yeah. like 200, 200, something like that. This girl's about to explode. Right? So anyhow, I said her blood pressure was really high. And they gave her some Ambox. She had an ear infection. So I caught it from one of the little boys. But although she said that she was sick before she came here, she had an ear infection. And she didn't finish her antibiotics. There you go. So, it's like the 21st she went to the house. No, it was, the t it was the 26th she went to the ER. And by the, t the 29th, we had to have 911 called. She was sleeping in the one room next to baby's mama and my big son. And they heard a big dunk in the middle of the night. Huge dunk. And they thought it was one of the boys in the boys' room hopping out of their baby beds, tearing the room up. Turns out the boys were fast asleep. They knew it didn't come from my room, because I live at the whole opposite end of the house. I have an 830-something square foot manufactured home. So I'm a good long way, so it wasn't coming from my room, and we were all sleeping anyway. Because I'm me, because that's my roommate and my dog, Roxy. We were sleeping. So, they went to check on, baby's mom went to go check on her mom, which is Grandma Dot Dot. And she was sitting up in the bed, and she said, open, open, and then she'd say no. And they're like, are you okay? Or she wouldn't respond. She just kept saying, open, open. So, because she has a pacemaker, she had blood clots in her lungs. And she takes, I don't know, there must be like 25, 50 pill bottles in her medicine bag. I don't know what she takes and what she don't take, but she takes a considerable amount of pills. And plus, she's very obese, almost 400 pounds. Anyway... So they called the ambulance to find out, you know, take her down to the hospital, find out she had a stroke. This was on a Monday morning, like in the middle of the night type of thing. And by Monday, about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, the hospital called baby's mama and said, hey, we're admitting Grandma Dot Dot. Oh, what's wrong with her? Well, her blood pressure's really up, and something else, I forget what else they said. Oh, and she couldn't breathe. <clears throat> so, her oxygen level was really low, so they put her on a ventilator. Because the oxygen, you know, the little things that they put to the nose wasn't working. So, they actually intubated her, put her on a vent. So... A couple days later, or the next day, I my time frame to really bad. Don't mind, you got my cookies. They told baby's mama that she had COVID and considerable um, lung damage. Yeah, and and the the time before when she went to the um, ER prior to this, they had did a chest X-ray and all this stuff to find out, you know, and 
there's nothing wrong with her lungs. Just the high blood pressure was causing a bunch of problems. Anyway, so they admitted her. It's been a, a week now. I admitted her. She's on a ventilator. Her oxygen goes like that. She has um, Colgan really bad. They said she has significant blood damage. Um, and they were really concerned about her because she was like sleeping. And well, they gave her sleeping medicine because when you, they intubate you, you know, put the thing down your throat. It's easier to for a person to handle that. So they had her sleeping. And they're trying to wean her off of the um the ventilator. And then her heart would stop. Start sorry, start uh start going up. Her heart rate and I just couldn't breathe so I had to keep running that. And I told baby's mama, because she has a pacemaker, when she's so obese, I can't do the electric paddles on her. If her heart stopped, and I can't do the um, CPR, so they would not do it, even if baby's mama said, yes, you know, do it. So it's a do not resuscitate type of thing, which is very scary. And anyway, it's been in there a week. And yesterday on Sunday, they said she wasn't responding like to commands, like to wiggle your toes or your fingers or whatever. So the big question was, what do you want to do? And... Uh, so they had to have a conversation about what you want to do because if she's not responding means you know something's really really wrong so they were talking about either turning her off or putting her in a nursing home with a trach in her and letting her finish her days or get better whatever so anyway that was a, that was a conversation and then a little while ago baby's mama had called and said she finally is responding good 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 she's still not out of the woods by a long shot, but she's hanging in there, and she's responding, and here's, here's a wing banger banger bonger, she's had two Coven shots, a booster, and the first one, two Coven shots, how the hell do you get Coven when you have two, two Coven shots? I mean, not, and get that sick. I mean, you can. I mean, people that take the flu shots get the flu. But you're not supposed to get that sick. Anyway. When we found out she had COVID last week, AJ got tested. We all got tested. Everybody came up negative. Well, I, the county tested me and AJ. And the little kids, her and baby's mama and the little boys got tested at the clinic. They did the rapid test and then they did the um, regular test, you know, that they send off the big test. <laughs> or the rapid test saw came back negative. The county test came back negative that she didn't have COVID. Baby's mama didn't have COVID. But the two little boys have COVID. Yeah. My, uh, and AJ uh, and I, my test, we they did their test on a Friday, and I did my test on a Monday or Tuesday. Uh, oh, I think it was on Tuesday last week. Anyway, we had the big test, not the rapid test. We had the big test. Came out negative. But learning that the little boys had the COVID over the weekend was really scary. So... I keep looking at the calendar. She had to come here with that COVID, Grandma Dot Dot, because, and that was on the 17th of October. She had to come with the COVID because when she came here, nobody had COVID. 
And she didn't leave the house. She sat on the couch the whole time or, or went to her bedroom to go lay down. Bubba and Mountain Dew. So tell me. She had to come with the Coven. And because I've been exposed to it since the 17th of October. And they say I don't have Coven. I've never taken the shot. And I'm not going to because I'm not going to put an experimental drug in my body it just doesn't make any sense to me you know that's i mean that's your choice your choice you do what you need to do but my opinion for myself is i don't even take a flu shot but from the 20th or the 18th i start developing a cough and it's because we have the heater on. The heater's dry and everything. This is this is another reason why I chose to, to get the um, COVID test. Because I've been exposed to it that long. And I think it was the first or the second. The first or second is when I got it. So from the 17th to the first, and I don't have COVID by then, I really doubt that I'm going to get it. But if I have symptoms... You know, like new symptoms that pop up other than the cough. But everybody's coughing in my house because the heater's dry. And we live in the desert. So, I don't know. I don't get it. What do y'all guys think? I don't know what to think. What do you think? Good. She thinks good. Where are we going to go tomorrow? Are we going to go shopping? Yeah. Yeah? You going to get a Barbie doll? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, hiccups. We got Peppy Pig on. Okay, gang. I will see you next month, bang, if you choose Get to come back. Blind. Wash your hands. Get Social blind. distancing. Get, put the button down there. Yeah, click that button down there. Subscribe, share. Share. All trolls welcome. So if you don't like me, that's fine too. Goodbye. Interaction just makes my channel more popular. Yeah, goodbye. Trolls, send your friends here to pick on me. I don't care. I need. I need subscribers. I need views. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye.